क्या बोल रही थी एज इन पीपल हु आर ऑर्डरिंग थ्रू दी एप आई कॉल दैम द लेजी पीपल पीपल हु आर इन द मैक्रो लेजी कैटेगरी इफ यू आर समबरी हु ऑर्डर्स थ्रू एन ऐप प्लीज डोंट हेट मी आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अ कॉन्सेप्ट खाइंड ऑफ ऑलरेडी हैंडल बिफोर आई डोंट थिंक दैट्स द रीजन सो खर डाउट पहले एक कप चाय हाई इन दिस वेरियो आई एम गिन टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज जावा स्क्रिप्ट इवेंट लूप and simplify it down so a 5 year old can understand javascript event loop is one of those hard to understand topics especially because there are so many different queues there's micro task macro task call stack set timer this that where does that go so in this video i'm going to simplify it down so if you're new to javascript you can understand but also if you've been around for a while like me and this topic is still confusing to you it can still make sense let's get started now imagine that you are somebody who works at mcdonald's and you need to process uh, orders as they come through but you are the only person working at mcdonald's which means you are a single threaded operation just like javascript so let's imagine that you are a single you are the only person working at mcdonald's and you have a bunch of orders come in Now there are different ways through which people can make an order and pick up their item. People can either drive through or they can walk in the store or they can place an order through the app, through a DoorDash app, through a um through McDonald's app, uh, through um uh, online app itself. I don't know. You can order through app. There are different ways of placing an order. So you as the single threaded operation, you as a single person working there, you need to figure out which operation should get which priority. Because you are a single person, you need to figure out which of these are the highest priority items and which of them can be delayed for a little bit. So, if you are running a drive through, you need to make sure that the drive through's queue is cleared so that you're not causing a traffic jam. JavaScript operates the same way. If there is an item in the drive-through queue, which is the call stack queue, which is the most important queue for JavaScript, JavaScript engine needs to make sure that that queue is processed right away so that that can be kept clean and clear. So that means that drive-through items or in JavaScript case, call stack items get the highest priority. Okay. Next up is let's say somebody walks into the store. you take in their order you put it in your system and then you let them wait for a little bit while you process their order in the background and you like hand them their burger in javascript's case these are called micro task items these are items that need to be processed but they have lower priority than the call stack items so for the mcdonald's worker the next person that they need to take care of is the person who's standing in queue in at the store This person is at the store they're waiting for you so you got to you got to take care of them first in javascript sense these are the items that are on the micro task queue these are the items that must be executed next in command what is what is an example of an item typically the items that you have with the await statements are the items that go in micro task queue so again to recap that people who are sitting in the store or people who are waiting for the person in the store need to have the next priority after the drive through people in javascript sense these are the items that are in the promises block because as a store operator you promise to take care of them as soon as possible okay you've promised to take handle their order as soon as you're done with the drive through orders okay and then comes people who are in the macro task queue as in people who are ordering through the app i call them the lazy people people who are in the macro lazy category over simplification people who didn't bother to even get out of their and walk into the store are people who do not want to speak to anybody they get the least priority if you are somebody who orders through an app please don't hate me i'm just trying to explain a concept right what was i saying oh yes um so then are, are the people who are micro task items as in micro lazy people as in people who didn't bother to get out their asses and order an item as in people who do not want to talk to other people as in people who went through a different portal to get their order placed and by portal here i mean the web app or the mcdonald's app or doordash app or some sort of way and why i'm highlighting that is because this is important for javascript's case as well in this case app is equal into web apis um such as set timeouts or event callbacks so to recap we've got the drive through queue highest priority item javascript equivalent of call stack so drive through queue call stack highest priority 
As soon as it comes, it must be executed. Then we have people who have walked into the store. These people and these operations get handled next. Priority number two. Then we have the macro lazy people or the people who ordered through app. These people are going to get least priority. Priority number three, they get part of, they become part of the macro task queue. Now, talking about JavaScript, the way JavaScript executes this is that it looks at the call stack. Call stack is where JavaScript engine can execute items. We have the call stack and anything that's in the call stack gets the first priority. That's the first thing that needs to get executed first. How does JavaScript know what to put on the call stack? Anything that is not wrapped up in a timeout, in a promise, part of a web API, gets part of the call stack. What does that mean? Any functions, any variables, anything that you call right away, that goes part of the call stack. So for example, if I have a console log, part of call stack. I call a function, part of call stack. That needs to be executed right away, first priority. Then the second priority, once JavaScript has taken care of everything in the call stack, it has cleared its drive-through queue, it's gonna look at what's my next priority. And for next priority, it's gonna look at micro task queue. Um, and micro task queues are things like promises. We've promised to execute them as soon as possible. What JavaScript is gonna do is pick an item from the micro task, put it on the call stack. Now it's gonna start executing that item execute it and then get rid of it. See if the call stack is empty. If it is empty, pick another item from micro task queue. Let's say that the micro task queue is empty. There's nobody waiting in the store. What do we do? We handle the lazy people. Now in the lazy people, let's say there's two items. JavaScript is going to pick first item, handle it, and then see if there's anybody else who's higher priority. So after every time it executes a function, it's going to check the priority, which is important. Okay. So call stack, highest priority. Micro task, second highest priority. Macro task, lower priority. Hopefully that topic made sense to you. If you like this video, tell me what other topic you want me to cover. And also like and subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. It means a lot to me. If you like this video, tell me what you want me to make next. Till then, bye. Keep ordering McDonald's. Bye.